Hi, everyone. I know everyone go to the citizenship interview and want to pass the test. But what happens if you do not pass your test the first time? If you fail your test the first time, you will be given only one more chance. The U.S. CIS officer must give you a notice of results, form N-652, at the end of the interview. That will tell you if you passed or failed. There are a number of reasons that the U.S. CIS might not approve your citizenship application the first time. You might have failed the civics test, or you might have failed the English portion of the U.S. citizenship test, like speaking test, the reading test, or writing test. You will be retested only on the portion of the test that you have failed, and your retest will take place within two to three months from the date of your first interview. There is another reason why you failed the test, or the officer might not be able to make a decision. Because you have failed to provide additional information relevant to your citizenship application. In this case, the officer will give you a written request called Form N-14 for the specific documentation or information you have failed to provide. The written request will also explain to you how to respond to the request. You may respond by mail, by a certain date, or in person at the next interview. It is very important that you clearly understand what kind of documentation or information is requested on the N-14 form. If it is not clear to you, please contact USCIS for verification. If you have to send additional information by mail, make sure that you include a copy of your N-14 form. You mail your N-14 form a timely manner so that USCIS receives it before the deadline. You use a certified or express mail service so that you get a proof of mailing. If you fail to follow the instructions, USCIS could deny your application. There are some reasons that will cause your application to be permanently denied with no possibility of a second chance. For example, if you have ever been charged with murder or a serious crime, the U.S. CIS will most likely deny your application permanently. The U.S. CIS runs a criminal background check for all citizenship applications. They are likely to find all of your convictions even in foreign countries, so you have to know that you cannot hide anything. If you have ever been arrested, you should look for an advice of an immigration lawyer before filling out an N-400 form. Another example that could disqualify for citizenship is the continuous residence or physical presence requirement. For example, you have spent outside the United States over six months. The USCIS officer will deny your application because you broke the continuous residence policy. 
You could also be denied citizenship permanently if you fail to pay taxes and you cannot prove to the U.S. CIS that you are in the process of dealing with this issue. You could also be denied citizenship permanently for lying or making false statements, even if the errors are non-intentional. So it is very important that all of your answers are truthful and accurate. You will also be denied if USCIS finds out that you have lied in the past in order to get immigration benefits. If the officer denies your application, they must give you a written denial notice within 120 days. In this case, you may choose to request an appeal hearing with a USCIS officer. If you choose to request an appeal hearing, you must fill out form N336 and send it along with the fee within 30 days from the receipt of your denial letter. In case you have a second chance to retest, if you fail the second time, your citizenship application will be denied and you will have to start over. Reapply if you still want to become a U.S. citizen. I hope this information is helpful for you. Good luck to everyone.